Hello, Gamer Nom is back. And in this video, we're going to reach max level mastery with the Soul Guitar. But before we start, you can show your support by using Star Code Gamer Nom when purchasing your Robux. 5% of the earnings will go to me, and this will really help us on making better videos. Where the actor slam on oh, their yes. forward, there's your slam, there's the dump. Okay, so I'm gonna start this video with a question. Guys, did you already unlock the Soul Guitar? If not, I have a video of it. I already posted it in my channel. Don't worry, I will put the link on the description. Okay, so are you ready to reach max level mastery with the Soul Guitar? Don't worry guys, I am going to show you three ways on how to grind the Soul Guitar mastery really fast. Okay, so first off, head to the sea castle and try to do elite hunter quests. Why elite hunter quest gamer nom? I'm gonna tell you later why, but first let's focus on the soul guitar. First off, why is soul guitar OP guys? Okay, I'm gonna show you why. First off, the reloading time of this gun is really short. I'm gonna show it to you, left click, there you go, you can left click again. Compared to the cannon, it is faster. It is kind of slower compared to Kabucha, but still, the reloading is really fast. Also, it is easy to aim. Guys, you don't need to aim like the, what do you call this, Asidium Rifle, because it has impact or AoE damage. Check that out. I won't hit it directly, but there is still damage. Okay. Aside from that, guys, if you ever unlock the skills, yes, Soul Guitar has OP skills. And we will be unlocking it later. Also, M1 damage is really good. Let's remove the accessory, guys. With no accessory, the damage is 1,457. Now, let's move to why Elite Hunter Quest Gamer Gnome. First off, it's easy to kill. It spawns every 10 minutes. You can get from 30 to 50,000 bellies, 100 fragments, God's Chalice, and Hunter Cape or Bandana. Oh my god! <laughs> Also guys, with just one kill, check that out. Lots and lots of experience for mastery. But guys, I need you to consider some things. We've reached 100 pre mastery, right? But we have two times mastery. Okay, again, we have two times mastery. Next strategy again is one of my favorite. It's long ma. Okay, the long ma hop. Remember that on my previous video. For those who already unlocked Toshita, yes, this is the quest. You can still defeat the boss, okay? So for the technique, you can do wall strap. There you go. Just left click. Try to lure him on a wall. Wait for it, wait for it. Be patient. Okay, you might get hit. That's fine. By the way, observation hockey won't work on Longma. Yes, let's check it out. Okay, observation hockey. There you go, guys. You cannot see him, but still you can use wall strap, okay? So upon doing wall strap, this might happen. Check it out. Because of the knockback, there you go. Loma might change places, but it's fine, guys. Just adjust. But don't worry, I have a better strategy later. You don't need to do this. So I suggest better watch this full video, okay? Okay, so there you go, guys. As you can see, wall strat is very easy. Benefits of defeating Loma. This boss is easy to kill, but slower, right? Compared to the Elite Hunter quest. More mastery, but lower money, but still. You can get some. There you go. Okay, so now guys, we have 154 mastery. And with that, we will unlock our first skill, the Soul Shaker. Go, I will show it to you later. Also, one boss that has a weakness with the gun or long range attacks is the elephant. Yes. Guys, just remember this area, okay? This area, remember, best place to use your soul guitar because again even though he will get knocked back this area is so narrow that he will have no other places to go okay so again even with knockbacks it's okay don't worry with the experience you will still get a decent amount of experience oh we also got the twin hook <laughs> not bad guys so is this sword good? This twin hook, guys, please comment it on the comment section. Let's try the Soul Shaker skill, the Z skill of the Soul Guitar. There you go. Uh, good things about it, guys. It has good stun. There go. But it has a knockback. So, same with the left clicks. It has good damage. 
Okay, before we move on to our next strategy, guys, a bonus strategy regarding the longma, guys. So instead of doing wall strat, just do the elephant strat. Remember, guys, just go on top of this rock here. And guys, if you do it here, there's knockback. So you will need to aim properly. It will go into different directions. There you go. So in order to remove the impact or the knockback, guys, do it here. Okay? Just aim at the back or near the door. There you go. Check that out. There will be no knockbacks. So just keep on using your M1 to defeat Longma. So I hope this one helps. So our goal here on defeating the bosses is to reach Mastery 300. And once you reach that Mastery, you will unlock your final skill, the El Diablo. There you go. And now, you are ready to do our final technique or strategy, which is head to the Chocolate Land, the new final island, and then look for this mob. Okay, there you go, the final mob. If you're not aware of the name, it's the Candy Rebel. Why gamer no? Because I think this has the highest XP, mastery. So, so I suggest let's focus on this one. There you go. You can lure five at a time. One, two, three, four, five. Yes. To be honest, you don't need the skills to defeat them. Just use your left clicks and point it onto you. The impact will damage every one of them. Now let's talk about the final skill. The El Jablo skill. There you go, the X skill. Guys, it has a life steal. Okay, which is really good. It has good damage. I'm gonna show it to you later. It also breaks observation hockey for PvP. And finally, it has good AoE. So let's say you defeated these mobs. You don't need to wait for them to spawn. Head to this area of the island. There you go. So while waiting for them to spawn, just defeat the chocolate battlers. Gamer Nom, there are mobs that has higher XP compared to this mob. But guys, you can lure six of them. Okay, again, the name is the Chocolate Bar Battler. So you can lure six of them at a time. Compared to the other mobs here, you can only lure five. And guys, they're easy to defeat. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> My bad, guys. My bad. Always use your observation hockey, etc. <laughs> okay, so let's defeat this, guys. Again, just use your left clicks. That's enough. Actually, this strategy is better compared to the boss hunts if you have a private server because they spawn really fast. So again, from here, guys, our target is Max Mastery or Mastery 600. Well, before we end this video, I'm gonna showcase the El Diablo skill again. I'm just going to prove to you that it has life skill. So let's get damage here. There you go. Okay. And then, guys, focus on the HP, okay? Once we use the El Diablo, there you go. Boom! See that, guys? Yes, we've confirmed it has lifesteal. Also, it has AoE. And again, it increases or breaks observation hockey. Okay, so we just need to defeat these mobs. And we will reach Mastery 600. Guys, are you ready for factory grinding using guns? If yes, comment it on the comment section. So guys, again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, we've reached Max Mastery 600. This is Gamer Nom, and Gamer Nom out!